Hey y'all, it's Jamila from Color Me Crafty and I'm back again with another tutorial. I have been completely baffled by how um, the pass through works on my laser since I got it. Like I wanted to do projects that were bigger than my laser bed, but I just couldn't wrap my mind around how to do it. My daughter asked me for a dry erase calendar, so I thought this was the perfect time to figure it out and to learn how to use my pass-through. I documented the entire thing. So in this video, I am going to show you how to set your screen up in Lightburn. I'm not sure if it would be the same process for Glowforge, but I would assume, assume that it would be something similar. I'm also going to show you how to set it up on your machine and sync it with what you have on your screen. And then at the end, I will show you what the final look is. Before we get into this tutorial, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And when you're all done watching the video, go ahead and drop me a like and a comment. I'd love to know what you think about this project. either do this before you get started or after you've adjusted everything on the screen I just like to go ahead and put it in before I get started you don't remove any of the paper backing um, you just go ahead and slide it into your machine and you'll make the adjustments after you get everything situated on your screen Starting with a blank light burn canvas, you are going to go ahead and pull in your design. And our design is bigger than the canvas, so we'll be using the pass through today. Here's the design. It is actually 19 inches wide by 15 inches tall. So I am just going to position it and try to kind of center it on um, my canvas. From here, I am going to go ahead and group everything together. And to group or ungroup, you use these little heads up here that look like people or whatever. So the one with three is how you group. So I'm going to go ahead and group them. And I'm actually going to move this up a little bit. Now that we have these grouped, we're going to go ahead and add our registration marks and I'm just going to use a half a register half of a registration mark or you could even use your crosshairs here as registration marks so to add the registration or to um, make a registration I'm going to grab the circle hold down shift and drag it and then I want to cut that in half. So if you notice, um, this changes as I move across. Well, the one with like the crosshair is actually the center. And the one that is not is not, you're not in the center. So we want to make this in the center. And then select both the square and the circle and if you don't know this from left to right you only grab what is completely inside the square if you go from right to left you select everything that is touching that green line so I'm going to go down here to subtract and now we have a half of a circle Grab the pencil and make a straight line. Once you have your straight line, go ahead and select both. And we're going to make sure that it is centered. And then I am going to shorten this because we don't need all of that overhang. But it does need to touch the edge. Now select it all again and group it. And then I'm going to hold down shift and turn it to the side 
and copy. I'm going to copy this whole thing and paste the whole thing and turn this one to the side also. So let's get back to our canvas and we're going to add these somewhere along the outside of our design. Make this bigger again. Now I'm going to adjust them so that they're not hanging over the edge. But you also want to make sure that it's touching the edge of your design. Just touching. You don't want it overlapping. And these really should be a different color because I don't want them to cut through and right now they're the color of my cut line. I'm going to move over and do the same thing with the other one. Make sure it's touching the edge and then bring it in and I'm just going to make it orange sometimes you're going to have to use your arrow keys to um, move it so that you can make sure that it's just touching your edge And I like to blow it up big just to double check that it is. And as we can see here, it's not. So we should be good there. Let's check the other side. And again, it's not touching, so I'm gonna pull it um, in. And I noticed that my line is not touching the edge of the half circle. So what I'm going to do here is ungroup these and go ahead and move it so that it is touching. And then regroup it. And I got to go back and do the same thing over on the other side, too. I didn't notice it over there, but. Okay, so our next step is to duplicate our half circles, our registration points. So I am going to select them both. <clears throat> go up to edit copy edit paste in place and then I'm going to group those two that I just copied and pasted our next step is to go ahead and split the design so that we can cut it um, using the pass through we're going to make this just a little bit smaller grab the square and we're going to take our square about in the middle of our uh, registration points they're not exactly even and that won't matter in the end but for me I don't want to be crossing over these red lines here so I adjusted my square so that it's not crossing over now remember we grouped everything in the beginning and that's that's where this that is important now grab the square and the calendar and then go up here at the top to tools and cut shapes and it doesn't look like it's cut the design but it has so next we're going to grab our registration points that we group together hold down shift and I'm grabbing the bottom 
and I am going to move this off the board. I'm going to group these and I'm going to group these. Lastly, because we are doing this on acrylic and I want the front part to be smooth, I am going to flip this so that it is mirrored. Um, make adjustments, any adjustments that you need to to your cut lines at this point. And I'm gonna make all these red ones the same color. And I just want, my red ones are gonna score and the green is gonna fill. And then this, I can just make, um, I'm gonna make this be 200 because I just want a line that I can use to line it, line everything up. And once you have everything in, when I flipped it, it scooched off the board. And for some reason those didn't group, but they're grouped now. So let's move this so that it is back on the board. And then once you have all your settings together, you can go ahead and hit start and cut out the first section. Okay, now that we have the first section cut out, we need to first, before we move our board, we need to swap out which piece of our calendar is on the board. So th the way I like to do it is just go back. I like to put everything back to the way it was because it just makes things easier. If you do it this way, you need to remember your cut settings. So this is the piece we're gonna be cutting now. I'm just gonna double check that it is grouped. And you also are going to need to remember that your registration lines are not gonna be grouped anymore. So when you move everything, as long as this bottom portion or your second portion, whether you do the bottom or the top first, is grouped, to match up with the top portion that you already cut, then you'll be fine. So I'm gonna move all this stuff out of the way and put this one on my mat, flip it, and then we're going to go over and start lining things up with the laser. I'm gonna try to do this while holding my camera but I'm going to move this and then I'm going to line my laser beam up with this little corner right here. Alright so I'm going to move, move my magnets out of the way and then I want to move my board so that uh you know, so that we can cut the next part. So what we're gonna do is select our first registration mark. And the way I like to do it is I like to move my laser to the center of the selection. And then I'm going to move my laser to the right of the selection. So then I'm gonna come over here and I'm going to adjust that. So that it is, so that the laser beam is right in the center of where that crosshair is. It's kind of hard to see, but it's right there. Um, there's a weird glare, so you can't see that it's in the center. So I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Now that we have that side set, we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Move the laser to the center of the selection and then move it to the right of the selection. Now that I'm back at my machine, I am going to frame it just to make sure that I have enough room. Um, And it looks like I do. The bottom eight edge is what I was worried about. So we're going to go ahead and close the machine and press start. All right. 
and this is the one we finished we're going to finish it up all i'm going to do is remove the paper backing and um add some of these little floaty things to it so that she can hang it before we move the backing i want to go ahead and brush all of this um, residue out and I bought two, some small little toothbrushes to do this with and I can't find them anywhere but um, a harder brush actually would probably do a lot better with this and I'm just um, removing the acrylic dust out of it And I'm actually going to remove this front first because I want to see if it needs to be filled. And when I bought this, a lot of the reviews said that the paper was hard to get off, but I'm not, obviously not having any issues. I do need to work a little bit on my um, technique for engraving and uh, my score, my lines after I engrave, I can see where it looks like it kind of blasts it through a little bit. But I think up against the wall, this will be perfect. I don't think it needs to be filled up. So I'm going to go ahead and remove all this paper and be back to show you the final project product. And here's the finished look. I grabbed a black poster board so that you could see it a little bit better. But for some reason, there's like some black residue in here that I can't get out. I found my toothbrushes and tried to use it and that did not work at all. But I am going to now put in the little um, things to keep it from... Now I'm going to put it on the little hangers. This is my first time using these, but I assume you put a, a screw in here and then screw that to the wall and do it that way. But I'm just gonna put them on here for, so we can finish this up. And you just stick it in through there. Put the washer on the other side and screw on this side. And you do that with all four sides. And here's the final look. I don't know why I didn't think about how hard it is to shoot or video or even take photos of clear acrylic. Thank you.